lidt. Øh... Hvad er det? Ja. Det er bare noget meget værd. Come It's one of the few invasive species that regenerates under itself or under, under shade, so it's not very common. So Santal was, was primarily, I think, introduced as a, as a timber tree to the Seychelles, isn't it? But here they've cut down the tree to get the Santal. So Instead of climbing. Instead of climbing, yeah. yeah quite a lot of that happens here. Okay. It's also quite invasive, actually. It's quite a problem, especially in rivers. Uh, uh, so this is cinnamon. It, it seeds in massive amounts, but in the shade, the, the cinnamon seedlings don't get any bigger than this. There's energy in the seed, and once that's used up, then they basically die. But if the canopy is opened up too much, as somebody's cut this santol, for example, then you'll get quite a rapid growth. But this is the whole premise of the forest rehabilitation, that we keep the shade, we keep the protective canopy, and we restore native forest underneath in that protective shaded environment. All of this are introduced weeds and they have very little value of environmental value or commercial value. But we still see this strong growth of native palms like Latania fay and Latania milpat coming in. So these seeds are coming down from the top of the catchment and that means that we could actually rehabilitate this area quite, quite easily because you've got that natural regeneration going and we can just give it a helping hand. Those are quite big on that side. Yeah, well they've had a little bit more life. Yeah. I mean, and if they're one in... One of the reasons yeah. why, why at, this, at this stage, yeah. lower down here, yeah. it's still uh, because they've stopped uh, harvesting the leaves yes. for touching yes. the yes. houses yes. and so on. Yeah. Now they, they, they grow very well. Well, first endemic hardwood, Café Maron, Grand Bay. Incredibly slow growing. So the the pipes being put in by PUC, they put in a, a small barrage to capture the water. Um, the river is probably the second or, or certainly the third biggest river on Mahe. So in terms of water security, it's very important. The other thing about the, the Kaimon catchment is at this stage, there is no development above it. So this water is really, really good quality.